Hey, this is Dale here, and um, this is going to be my first tutorial, and this is on Photoshop CS5. And today we're going to be making this reflect effect, and um, I just this is just a paintbrush I've used to make give it that extra effect. So what we're going to do is click File, New, have our width by 800 and our height by 300. Make sure it's on pixels there, and click OK. Okay, now get your Make sure your foreground colour is white and get the paint bucket tool and just click on the paint bucket. And now what you want to do is you want to get a text tool and just center it, put it in like the middle kind of. I'm using a 72 point and I'm using Watergraph which is Disney font if anyone is wondering. And make sure your sorry, make sure your colour is black. Now what I'm just, I'm just going to type in tutorial. Should I say spell it? Yeah. Yeah, that's how you spell it. I'm pretty sure. Tell me if I'm wrong, people. You know, I'm only 12. <laughs> Sorry. And I clicked OK, didn't I? Oh yeah. Now I'll click your drag tool and then just center out. And now what you want to do is right click on tutorial and click duplicate layer. And then what you want to do is press Control T, Command T on, com sorry, Command T on um, Command T on Mac. And what we're going to do is we're going to click Flip Vertical, drag down, and then just line it up with the other text. And then it, we, we get kind of like this. Then just click Apply. Okay, now what you want to do is right click on the uh, tutorial copy or whatever yours is called, copy. And then we're going to look for Rattrise Type, and then just Rattrise Type. Now you want to click on this box here, and um, we're going to click on it, and then make sure your feather is at 5px, 5 pixels, style at normal, and then try and get it in the middle or, or, or three quarters of the way down, and just take it off, like that, just do that, as you can see. And now what you want to do is right click on it, click Layer via Cut, Right click on the new layer you got called layer 2 and you just want to delete the layer. Yes. Now it would have disappeared like that. Now if you want to get the brush tool I've got you have to download it from br Brushies I think it's called and I did it on black and all I did was make it a little bit bigger. Like that and I just did that. See? Give it that nice effect. Um, Thank you for watching my tutorial, and if you look, they're both quite like the same. And yeah, just thanks for watching. Subscribe.